Hey everybody. Hello, I'm Kim. And I'm Erin, and we are K&E &E RV TV. Mm -hmm. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We are best friends who live full time in our RV and travel. And today we are in Boston, Massachusetts, baby. Boston! It is our first time. First, first time. time. We have mm -hmm. no idea what we're gonna get into today, <laughs> nope. but we decided to bring you all along with us. Mm -hmm. We are starting off here in the public gardens. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful park. Mm -hmm. This is where they have the swan boats. I'll show you those in a second. Um, it's adjacent to Boston Commons, which is the oldest city park in the United States. That's which crazy. Is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. So we're gonna hang out here in this park for just a little bit, and then we're gonna hang out in Boston. Yeah, see what we get into. So let's do it. All right, let's go have some fun. Let's go. Woo! We are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. RVTV, K and E RVTV, sing it with us. Here's the famous swan boats. They take you around the little pond here. And you can see one out there. You go through that bridge, through the bridge, and on the other side. And on and the other side. So it's kind of like like a loop around the. It's pond. like 450 for adults yeah. to do it. It looks really cute. Like it would be fun yeah. to do, but we don't have a ton of time today. Yeah. We can't be gone. We do have dogs um, at home in the RV, so we can't be gone like a super long time. But we're gonna see what we can get into. But I'm ready. Let's go have some fun. So here's the swan boat first going out, and if you look at the girl that's in the back, she's pedaling. <laughs> That's crazy. That looks like a tough job. I don't know, you get some exercise. Christina, why don't you apply? <laughs> you want a job here? Maybe. <laughs> Aaron, you gonna pick me some roses? I would, but they, you know, they're <laughs> it off. But you see them, the, the red ones back there, they look so pretty. Yes, this public garden is cool. Gorgeous. Boston Commons is right over there. A lot, a lot of history here in Boston. And this park's really pretty. And it's free to get into and walk around. These trees are so pretty. They're like hanging over the water. Wow. Yeah. So today, today is July 14th. Friday, July 14th, 2023. So when you see the crowds of people walking around, that's what it's looking like in the summertime. Here in Boston, the beautiful wow. skyline here as we're walking over the bridge. This is so pretty. So pretty. There's a nice breeze going on today here as well. Right over here by the boats. We had a great shot of a duck. <laughs> There's duckies. That's cool. Beautiful music going on. Some hibiscus flowers. So these are my hi these are my favorite flowers. So oh, I wish I could pick one. <gasps> oh, they're so <laughs> gorgeous. Where you had that at? I finally know the name of a flower though. Came across the statue. Looks like of George Washington. That's huge, man. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, really tall. All we saw was a horse butt as we were <laughs> walking up from over there. But they have beautiful flowers literally everywhere. And there's bees. I see the bees. But really pretty. A little fountain back over here. They got some fat pigeons. Oh yeah, there's really fat pigeons and fat squirrels. They got they got they got fat um, seagulls at the beach here in New England. Bigger yeah, everything's bigger than I thought that was supposed to be Texas. <laughs> <laughs> so right across from the public gardens is the Cheers restaurant. Across from the public gardens is the Cheers restaurant. This, there's two here in Boston. This is the one where they use the outside photos, but the inside does not look the same as in the Cheers show. It's exterior shots only. Exterior shots cool. only, yeah. Do you want to go inside? Yes or no? No? This is what it looks like from the outside anyways in the show. So we made it to Beacon Hill, which is in a historic and ritzy Boston neighborhood. And what we came here for is Acorn Street, which is how many years old? From to the 1820s. 1820s. Over 200 years old. Look at this street. Crazy, real cobblestone. Like Real crazy. cobblestone. 
What did you, what's the most filmed street in the USA? Most photographed? Photographed. Yeah. Most photographed, look at these couple of stuff. Or in Boston. In Boston? Oh, yeah, a little. I'm already <laughs> falling. It's not easy to walk on. <laughs> it's really cool though, it goes way up there. Yeah, or you could go up the side. Like wow. Fire. This is pretty cool. These houses are really pretty over here in Beacon Hill though. They're fancy. But we're gonna give other people opportunity to take their photos. We took a couple photos. Really this was about like a five minute walk from that Cheers restaurant, yeah. which was right across from the public gardens. Yeah. We did two hour parking right by the public gardens. So we're gonna head back to our car and maybe drive to Get another spot. We, um, we were told not to drive to Boston by all every YouTube video we saw yeah. and everybody, but um, we do what we want, and we did it anyway. And it hasn't been too too bad. So well, far. just don't don't jinx us. Right, too so far. It's so far. We only we've crossed. only found one spot so far. So, <laughs> ooh, they have a big tour bus here. Hop, hop, hop on, on hop off. Up. Tour all day. Tour all day. Old Town Trolley Tours. That's cool because you can just do what you want. You know, you see something you like, hop off. Yeah. Then wait and hop back on. Keep going. I've seen the duck tour buses. Maybe we could do that one day. Those look really fun. But duck tour, you like land and water. Yeah. So yeah, I'm all about that. Alrighty, so we left the park and we went on the hunt to make a parking spot happen. Don't drive in Boston. Which we've had zero luck for like pretty much the last 45 minutes. Spot. So yeah. I don't, actually is that a spot? No, they say permit parking. Yeah, there's a lot of permit parking now, a lot of public parking. The public parking is, we've seen, the lease was like $20. Yeah, we only want to have like an hour left. Yeah, so, so we I. We don't want to spend $25. Park. I think the mistake we made is that we should have probably paid for like the all-day parking right up front So that would have made it if we were here for the three hours at least, you know, okay We paid 20 bucks for three hours not 20 bucks for like an hour and a half So that's the problem we're having right now, but at least we're getting to see a lot We're doing a driving tour of Boston <laughs> today. Somehow the that's what this lines, video turned turn into <laughs> But it's beautiful A lot of people a lot of cars <laughs> a lot of traffic. We're heading down Hanover Street right now, right now, which seems to be a very popular area. It's Friday a night. A lot of people, a lot of cars. Pastry shop. A lot of life happening. We're going to Mike's Pastry. We're trying. We might just jump out while Kim drives and go get something. I don't know. But Boston's definitely a really, really cool area. Alrighty, we did jump out of the car. Kim is driving around, but here's Mike's Pastries. Pretty popping in there, but the line isn't super long right now. But they literally have every kind of cannoli you could possibly want. All of the flavors are on the very back wall. And they have ricotta, yellow cream, chocolate cream, chocolate dipped, mint chip, chocolate chip, pistachio, pecan caramel, mousse, like everything you can think of. And then they have a ton of pastries as well. Sorry, there's a lot of people in here, so it's difficult to get up to anything, but they have so much. It smells delicious in here. Even some donuts. The croissants are huge with some cream cheese in there with some icing on top. So good. Blueberry scone. There's just endless counters with all this yummy goodness. So we'll let you know we got a few cannolis. It was hard to film because they are so busy in here. But we'll let you know what we think. Alright, I acquired the goods. Kim picked us back up. Here we go. <laughs> Mike's pastries. You're gonna get what you get and you're not gonna get upset because it happened so fast. I'm hungry though. We didn't have enough cash. Why, we didn't realize it was cash it only. So hard, it's so hard to get in the box. <laughs> we didn't realize it was cash only so we had very limited um, cash on us when me and Christina jumped out of the car. So we just grabbed a few Homemade cannolis. Homemade cannolis since 1954. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. All right, the light's green. All righty, so this one right here is the pistachio. Yummy. Can you see it? In the middle, we just had a traditional cannoli. And at the end over here, we did the armoretto. So they look Ooh. yummy, nice topping, smell great. Mm. Got a little taste of the, the cream filling. I bet you're excited. 
Okay, we'll see you guys in a second. Right, I think we're gonna be heading out of Boston because we cannot find a parking spot. I'm gonna try this pistachio one just because I'm curious. Here's I don't like cannolis, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Cheers. Homemade cannolis in Boston from Mike's Pastries. That's actually really, really good. You like it? I'm impressed. She never likes cannolis. The filling is nice. The dough of the cannoli itself, really flaky. A little powdered sugar. Sweet and salty. I'm about it. You like the pistachios? Yeah, that's really good. I want to try it. I'm glad you got that flavor. <laughs> I figured you'd like it. You know well. All right, I'm at a red light. Trying the pistachio. Go for it. Turn on the right. It's pretty tasty, right? That is so good. Really, really. I'm, I'm impressed. Mm. But I guess I've never had a real cannoli before. That's so yummy. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're gonna end this video here at our, the cell phone lot. Our day did not at go the Boston as, airport. Yeah, <laughs> our day did not go as planned, but unfortunately we had to drop our friend Christina off at the airport. She leaves today. That's why we were trying to spend the day in Boston. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have as much time as we needed. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I will suggest that if you're coming to Boston, especially if you're gonna be here more than a couple hours, you just go ahead and pay for the all-day parking. Mm -hmm. That way you don't have to worry about it. You can just spend the, all the time that you want. I have to stress about it. It was nice that we found parking right next to the um, gardens. Yeah, but it was only two hours. So yeah, so move. we had to move after that. So mm -hmm. it was nice to be able to just get right into the park, but then trying to do anything else from there that you couldn't walk to was a little more difficult. Yeah. So definitely I would say the lesson learned, mm -hmm. pay for the all-day parking so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, once we got to the other part we wanted to get to, we only had like an hour. So yeah. I'm like, I don't want to pay $25 for, for an hour. hour of parking. Like, it was just crazy. too too ridiculous to us. Mm -hmm. You know, we're girls on a budget. But, but we definitely enjoyed Eric the Eric got me my cannolis. Yeah. And they're so good. And make sure you keep in mind that they are cash only. So you mm -hmm. want to make sure you have enough so you can get everything that you want. Kim mm -hmm. got lucky that I ordered her items first. because, <laughs> But she shared with me. So she she loves me. Uh, they were but really, really, really good. Super so fresh. Good. Mike's pastries. Really, really and good. And I don't even like cannolis. And they were delicious. So I can imagine what the other items are like. Maybe when we come back to Boston and pay for all day yeah. parking. We'll take you back there. We definitely want to check out Quincy Market. We wanted yeah. to do that today. But unfortunately, we didn't get that in. Yeah. And again, let, let us know in the comments if there's any place that we can go yeah. or you know any secrets about parking. Yeah. We need all the help we can get. No, we'll be taking the train in next time. Yeah. That's, that could be really fun. Don't too. recommend the parking. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> all right, all right guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit your like button. If you're new to our channel or you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye, y'all.